Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, uh, we are playing Mario Party 8. Now, this is a game that I haven't played in not like a long time, but it's it's been a while. It's been a, probably been like a few months. And the reason I'm playing this game is because I was recently watching um, a YouTuber called Poofesher. Poofesher. I, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce his name. It's P-O-O-F-E-S-U-R-E. -E. And if you are okay with 18 plus commentary and a lot of screaming and cursing, uh, then yes, uh, check him out. He's actually... He's... Uh, it's kind of hard to explain without like spoiling the entire thing. He's, he's a rager, okay? <laughs> Most of his comedy comes from just the sheer amount of rage he gets while just playing games like Wii Sports. Wii Sports ticks him off. He tried Mario Party 8 twice and after that kind of just stuck to Mario Party 9. Went back to Mario Party 8 for a while. And by that I mean... Uh, by that I mean he went back for one more video. He's only done two Mario Party 8 videos, but uh, pretty much what happened was... He would play on hard difficulty and same thing in Wii Party U. He would uh, say that the games were rigged. The harder the game got, the more rigged the game was. And I, I wanted to see if I could replicate the test that. Like, see if the game was actually rigged or if it was just him. Now, obviously, I do want to try Wii Party U because Professor actually makes it look like a lot of fun even though he's screaming and cursing at the game the whole time. <laughs> but it's, um... It's actually, um, pretty entertaining. I mean, yes, I do understand that, like, you know, the amount of language he uses is absolutely unnecessary, not even close to, you know, anything I would be comfortable hearing most of the time, but... You know what, it's, I'm, I'm stalling the video at this point. Alright, uh, check out Professor if you're okay with 18 plus content. So run, go run wild, have fun. I will have fun, and here's the thing, I'm going to go into the party tent. Excuse me. I'm going to go into the party tent, and I'm going to set all of the computers to the hardest difficulty. Battle Royale, one player, and three computers. Now, for the longest time I was always Mario, but in Professor's videos, it would seem as if Mario was always given, like, what he said, the Golden Boy Award. He was always treated like, you know, the best, the golden child. So he was always given the best, you know, rigged things. So instead, I'm gonna be playing as my man, Waluigi. Partially as an homage to the fact that he's not in Smash yet. Keyword being yet, I think he might be in there eventually. How will we get all the capped boy, capped boys in here? Yeah. Capped boys, mm hmm. Alright, 50 turns, all mini games, bonus stars, no, uh, -uh. no, I don't, I don't like the concept of bonus stars, like, too many times I've had bonus stars on, where I, <laughs> I was like one star in the lead, I'm like, yes, finally, I was struggling the entire game, finally, I'm like either one star in the lead, or I'm, I have the same amount of stars as someone else, and I just have more coins than them, and I'm in first. I'm like, yes, I won, just barely, but I won. And then the bonus stars come along, and now I'm two stars behind and in third place. So, no bonus stars. What happens in the game happens in the game. Uh, you'll notice that very hard is unlocked because you pay for that in the uh, fun bazaar, fun the, the item store. Now, uh, what is this? Uh, my computer is starting to take up a lot of CPU again. So, I'm gonna do Goomba's Booty Boardwalk. I really like this one because it's, it's very straightforward. It's like someone took a Monopoly board and then, like, cut it and then, like, made it kind of straight. So it's just the spaces just all laid out and then did that with, like, two or three boards and added all kinds of special effects to all the spaces. It's just one big straight line, and the goal is to, you know what, I'm just gonna 
Yeah, let's hear a few secrets about the board. The breezy boardwalk behind me goes straight to a pirate island. Get there as fast as you can. Captain Goomba waits you there. He'll give you a free star every time you reach him. Good thing dolphin shuttles are standing by. They'll help you get down to the end faster. So spend away, competitors. Shell out coins for rides and candy to make the run again and again. Let's see who goes first. Smack the dice block. Punch with your Wii Remote. Now it says punch. Every time when I was a kid, whenever he told me to punch the Wii Remote, I would hold it in my left hand and physically punch the Wii Remote <laughs> with my right hand. And for the longest time I was confused. It's like, why do I have to physically punch it? I would like get red knuckles all the time. And uh, after a while I realized I could just shake the Wii Remote. I'm like, oh, why don't I just do that? Now, I apologize if the game seems a bit loud. Um, in fact, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Because it's kind of just like non-stop noise. They, like, do not stop making noise. There we go. That, that seems a little bit better. At least that's what OBS tells me is better. <laughs> um, when the audio levels are, like, almost near each other, like, even if I'm just a little bit above it, it's so, it still sounds like I'm very drawn up. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright. Reach me and get a star, but that path's harder to walk than a large greased plank. Good luck. Is that something that pirates have to deal with often? Just lard greased planks? Time to start this party. Finally! Almost seven minutes, but yeah, we're going. Alright, obviously I'm not going to be doing all 50 turns. I'm probably going to stop at um, the time amount that feels right-ish. Based off of time, not uh, gameplay. Although I will try to make the turn a multiple of five. Because otherwise my OCD will not shut up to me in my sleep. <laughs> Waluigi's turn! Let's see. Seven? Not bad. But well, Kenny, hey, I landed on a blue space. That's nice. Now... It has been a while, like I said, it's been a while since I've played this. I kind of forget if the game is like Mario Party DS where it's a mini game after every turn, or you just keep taking turn after turn after turn after turn. I think it's uh, a mini game after every turn. Yeah, Alright. Alright Mario, what you got? Oh! Okay, for those of you who don't know, that dolphin takes you to an island with only like five spaces, and each space has three coins, and they're all blue spaces, and at the end of that, you just get a free star. One thing I should mention, you're stepping on, oh, okay, mm-hmm, sure, I can read that fast. Anyway, it's uh, pretty much a guaranteed star, along with 15 coins. And it was given to Mario of all players. Oh, King of the Thrill. It was given to Mario of all players. So, so far, Kufesher's theory is right. But, that was a one-time thing. It's not science, unless you can repeat it. Alright, so Luigi and I are on a team. If Luigi and I are both the, the ones up top, then... Goodbye, Wario. Yeah, what the... Yeet! Yeet! No, what? Get out of here! No! 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 no. Oh, man! Alright! Now, I'd like to point out that I've literally never played on any difficulty higher than easy. Maybe normal. Just because out of, you know, just out of habit, I always just go and set them all to easy. But, uh, yeah. Alright, Luigi's turn. Sorry if, if uh, Lu uh, Waluigi just randomly... Yeah, that. Um, I have, um, 
I've played this game for a very long time, and when I was younger, I thought it was hilarious to shake the remote and make the players do... Just make them do that. I did that whole 10 coins for one space. 13. 13 coins for one space work out for you, you know, Wario. Well, that's three coins now? Okay. Nine. Alright, not bad. Sorry, you need five coins. Now, the price for the dolphin shuttles actually depends on how, uh, what place you're in. For first, I think it's 20 coins. Third, or second is 15, third is 10, and fourth is 5. And your placement not doesn't depend on how far down the board you are, it's how many stars and coins you have. Stars have a priority over coins, and, oh, wow, you're just gonna just roll a 12, why don't you? Alright, so what happens is, um, stars... Basically, you win by collecting stars, but if two players, two or more players, have the same number of stars, then it's based off of how many, how many coins you have. Now, I'm not entirely sure what happens if two players have the same number of stars and coins. Is it just a tie? Is there, like, some sort of tiebreaker thing? Is there a tiebreaker 1v1 minigame? Like... I'm curious. Ooh, 1v3. Depending on what this is, this could either be really good or really bad. Oh. Mm. <laughs> okay. This is easy on easy. I imagine it's gonna be very hard on very hard. Just gonna dodge out. Oh. Oh. Alright. Oh. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. You need to chill out, Mario. Yes! Got him! Alright, that wasn't so bad. Ten coins! For a total of 10 coins! I got... Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Wait, what? Man, I'm out of my drink. Oh, wait! I have this. I have this Icy. Now, I know technically that name is trademarked. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not sponsored. I don't claim sponsorship, but... I'm... The way I see it, whenever you use name brands and you're not sponsored by that name brand, I just see it as free advertising. I'm not trying to pass it off as my own, so it's not copyright. And, I mean, the way I see it, it's just, this is, hey, that person's doing this, so that person's drinking an Icy. I should go down to my Wawa or 7-Eleven and get an Icy or Slurpee, it's the same thing. Slurpee, slushy, 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 yeah, it's slushy. We used to have a 7 Eleven near here, we got taken down for some reason. I don't know why. It always seemed pretty popular. Yeah. And, uh, I recently noticed that uh, my voice in the, um, why did I- Oh, wait, hang on, why did I- Why in the world did I use my candy? That was stupid. I was too busy talking. So I recently noticed that my microphone is, make, is picking up sound sooner than the game is taking up 1v3 again? I'm I'm synced up with the song in real life, but I've recently noticed that I'm not. 
in the game. So if any of you in the comments know how to delay the microphone audio on OBS, it's always the same amount, it seems. How to delay the audio from the microphone to the game, that way it's like you're hearing me in real time as opposed to me a fraction of a second before the game, which is what all the videos are so far. Wait, that... Alright, Mario. Come on, Mario. 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 Mario! Hold still! Oh! I got one! Come on! Yes! What is... What kind of engine is that? That is a small engine with such a very large flame output. That is insane. <laughs> what do you get? 45,000 horsepower out of that tiny little thing? We could put that on the back of our truck. <gasps> Actually, I think putting a... I think maybe putting a 45,000 horsepower uh, turbine engine on the back of a... Uh, on the back of an F-150. On the back of a Ford is yeah, the best idea. And I have a brain freeze. Yep, that's painful. I didn't even have that much icy. What the heck? Okay, so if I get a 1 here on the next turn, then I'll go to the special island. Mario, who do you think you're gonna... What did that do for you, Mario? That did nothing. You just pulled a me. You ate your bolo candy for no reason. Alright. 2v2, alright. Crops and Robbers. This was a game that Poofesher had a lot of trouble playing. And I know why. You swing the Wii Remote to swing the hammer. And you press the buttons to move. Now see, here's the thing. He was trying to swing at the Monty Moles and he wasn't like aligned right. You have to be aligned along with it. Like imagine like a eight way thing. See, like, you have to be kind of accurate. Your job is to get rid of all the plants. If you're the guy with, who has to take out the plants. And the Monty Mold if you're the guy with the hammer. Come on. Come on, Luigi. There we go. Come on, Luigi. You're gonna... Luigi! There we go. Man, I miss this game. So I'm probably gonna only record till I hit like 30 minutes. Somewhere around there. Choose an opponent to land on with the dart wheel. Hey, if you pick me, that's your that's your loss. Right in my chin. Do you not realize just how far back you're moving? I mean <laughs> Oh! Oh I see what you were doing, Luigi. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, I see now what Professor meant about this game being rigged on higher difficulties. <laughs> I mean, like, what player in their right mind would jump to, like, almost the beginning of the board? 
Oh, and I miss it. Who, who in their right mind would jump to the beginning of the board just to take a 10% chance of rolling a 1 and landing on the golden space? No player would ever do that. No human player, at least. Not unless they were absolutely insane. Mario Matrix. Ooh. Now I'm good at this one because this is a pointing game. And I'm really good at pointing. In fact, I have the... I've been playing with the TV same height relative to my head for so long that I know where the cursor is going to be based on the position of my hand. How'd I do? I tied for last place. Well, okay then. Those guys were fast. You know what I'm gonna do? In a later video, I'm going to play... We Play. I'm gonna play the shooting game so you can see how accurate I can be with my pointing. Not to brag, but I'm usually way more accurate than that. Uh, that and Link's crossbow training. After a while, I can just hold the remote so still you'd think it's, like, controlled by a mouse, but it's not. Um, I used to play, uh, target- I used to play Link's crossbow training while holding the remote like a dart. Because I couldn't hold it still enough for long enough to aim right while holding it normal. <laughs> of course, he rides back and just, yep. Yeah, okay, so I think Poofesher may have been right when he said that the higher difficulty, the game is rigged in favor of the computers. Someone send this video to uh, Poofesher and tell him, I apologize for everything I said about the games not being rigged, because they kind of are. Something tells me I'm in for a treat if I ever get Wii Party and or Wii Party U, which are both games that I really want to get soon. And now you give me a one. I have yet to make it halfway past the board, and everyone else has already like made it to the end already. Yeah, I I absolutely see what Professor was talking about when he said this game. I I keep saying that. I need to sit down, man. I have been standing this whole time, and I was standing for like 20 minutes before that because I was pacing my room, thinking about what to do. Which is something I do. Oh wait, this game! Wait! Sick and Twisted! Yes, I'm good at this game! Let me just review the control- Yeah. I'm good at this. I am really good at this. I have the controls just... burned into my brain. I'm good at that too. What the- what?! They were literally pushing me to my doom before I was ready. I'm not ready for death! I am helpless against death now that it is here. That's a reference to uh, something from Caitlin Coy's channel. Check her out too, by the way. If you like Splatoon, then check out Caitlin Coy's channel. Now, the farther ahead you are on the screen, the less time you have to- WHAT?! Uh, hang on, wait, I just did what they did and I fell. Was I too far up, maybe? It didn't look like I was too far up. Then again, it was spinning, so... Oh! I thought it was a race! 
You just have to get there before the last platform drops down. Okay. <laughs> oh, poor Luigi. Oh, looks like the computers aren't always rigged. Otherwise, that wouldn't have happened. So far, it's 95% uh, rigged. Alright, Bolo Candy. You gonna do that thing again where you... No, wrong person. Luigi, you gonna do that thing again where you, like, jump backwards to the beginning of the board once you're ahead? Just to take a 10% chance of landing on one space? Hmm. Ride the dolphin or... No. I'm gonna buy double candy. Or twice candy. Or... Yeah. The candy lets you roll two dice. Nice. Or three, if they're selling that. Let's see. Aha! Three. Oh, wait. Duolo candy. Now that, that's cool when you use it. It like sets your character on fire. I'm actually making a short animation out of that. Um, the music is going to be all done by me because I can't seem to find the music that I want to use in the background. It's not like pre-written or anything. It's just like I have the I have the music in mind. I just can't find anything that matches it, you know. So I'm gonna do it myself. It's just rock. This is like um, just like just hard rock instrumental. <gasps> Ooh, thrash and crash. Ooh, this is only so hard on easy because. Mm, you don't know when things are gonna fall, and there's no way to, like, guarantee make someone crash. They, like, get out of the danger zone before they're actually on screen. My gosh. Oh! Get him, get him! Get him, get him! <laughs> yes! I think that was, last, that was the last obstacle, oh my gosh. Woo! Alright. That went way better than expected. And, of course, roll a 10 again. I do this thing where I just toss the remote around. I toss it up and spin it around on my fingers and stuff. I'll have to post a short video of me doing that. And it's making Waluigi go It's That was, like... Okay, I'm usually pretty good at making Waluigi impressions. That was my worst ever. Not just yet. No, I want to save it for like when I need it. But yeah, uh, I apologize for that absolutely horrendous Waluigi uh, impression. Here's a better Waluigi impression. Waluigi. I have pretty much that part down. I haven't really tried talking like Waluigi, but I can do it. Waluigi. That and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> My Mickey Mouse is on point. Or at least that's what I've been told. Oh, I'm Mickey Mouse. That's me. If my YouTube career never takes off, I can always just be a voice actor for Mickey Mouse. I don't know why, but I've always been really good with voice. It gets annoying after a while. At least to my family. I can do it all day. Uh, hey, battle minigame. Time for a battle mini it, Okay, wait, is it me or is, is that like highlighted in pink on the right? Is it just for my screen or is that what it looks like for you? I'll gather coins from each player. The winner keeps the lion's share. How much, how much, how much? 20 coins. Luigi only has 18, but all right, it's fine. Two coins short, that's pretty close. Which minigame will decide? Five minigames. 
Uh, oh! <laughs> oh, they're screwed. Saucer, sw saucer Swarm. I beat the staff record on that. And you know the staff records are always better than the hardest computer difficulty records. 46 is my record. But I was going easy. I was holding back. Why does, why does some of these kind of remind me of aliens from um, Super Mario, or Super Paper Mario? Fuck, 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 fuck. Hey, back off! Forty-four. Oh! Oh, snap! They did just as good as I did! About. I got 44, Luigi got 46. He tied for my record. That was. Whoo! Okay, well, at least I got something out of that. How's my mic quality, by the way? I mean, I, I, I guess I am kind of shouting. That's because the mic is not directly in front of my face as it usually is for like some of my other videos. Whenever I play the Wii, whenever I play Wii games like this, I have the microphone set up on my bed while I stand and play the game. And whenever I want to make sure I'm talking to you, I have to look at my microphone. Which is good because it, I also have to look at the red light on it and that tells me if it's on. Which it's... Only ever really shut off once while on stream. Oh, 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 Luigi, you took three coins. Wario took ten. Man. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go for it. I want to save it for what I really need. Use it. Uses it because he wants to. Let's see. What do we got? Ten! That's great. Five. One. Sixteen. Woo -hoo! Okay, that was close. If I had somehow landed on that, that green one, I <laughs> I don't know what I would have done. It took me... How many turns is that? What turn is this? I don't know anymore. Took me this long to get there, and then I finally get there, and then I land on the green space. Mm. Grabbing gold. This is a game where everyone wins. Because you get points based off of how many coins you get. And however many coins you get in the game, that's how many coins you get to keep in the game. In the, in the, the board. That's all, folks. Coin. 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 If you've ever seen me play Pac-Man or Galaga in an arcade, you know that my joystick hand-eye coordination is on point. You want proof of that? Just ask my parents. They've seen me play Galaga and Pac-Man in arcades, like where you have to like put a coin in. Yeah, I actually went to one of those arcade ones. One of those arcades ones. It was awesome. It was like kind of like going back to the 80s, like the mid 80s, back when all those games were first released. No one was like like really good at them, unless of course you play Pac-Man. And you see that the uh, the high score is 3,333,360 points. Which is the best possible score you can get in Pac-Man. Which, to get the best possible score, you have to eat all of the pack dots eat all four ghosts, in ev all 256 rounds. All 256 rounds, eat all the power pellets, 
eat all four ghosts within the time frame of those power pellets, except for the ones past level 19, because the power pellets are useless past 10. And... Yeah, just pretty much... Every time you eat a power pellet, make it last and eat all four ghosts. And eat all four, um, pack dots. All with less than... All with less than three lives, might, uh, plus one life every... Depends. Some arcades have different level up to, uh, scores. Most of the time it's uh, 20,000 every 20,000. Most of the time. That makes it easy. There are other level up times though. Uh, there goes, uh, there's one where it's like I think 40,000 and then every 20,000 after that. Alright, as long as I don't roll a 1. You have got to be kidding me! A 1 out of 10 chance to not roll a 1. A 1 out of 10 chance to roll a 1. My goodness! Now, you, you know what this needs? I'll tell you what this needs. This is a prime example of... Bruh. Yes! Alright, I know it's 1v3, but which one am I? Am I, the, am I part of the 1 or the 3? Oh, I'm part of the 3. Oh! Oh, I'm the jump roper! This is gonna be... Hilarious for you, Torch. Oh, shoot! This is gonna be the last one. <laughs> Kinda went past my time. Yeet! Up. Nope. Nope. Oh! Hey! They won the game for me. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm gonna save and exit after this. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. And if you, uh, if you want more of this, right now with a lot of funny yelling and a lot of cursing be warned check out Poofesher p-o-o-f-e-s-u-r-e -E, and then just type in Mario Party <laughs> I mean uh, you can also check out his Wii Party videos but uh, his Wii Sports videos oh my gosh he has a lot of Wii Sports videos and those are the ones where he like breaks things He's broken so many Toad Wii remotes with Wii Motion Plus inside. And I think that's his problem. His problem is he gets Wii remotes with Wii Motion Plus inside. I've had Wii remotes with Wii Motion Plus inside. And even the Nintendo brand ones, they feel very off, you know? Like, there's just something about them. It just doesn't... It doesn't respond the way it should. I don't know. And, uh, oh, uh, I, I don't know if I said this earlier, but uh, I, I apologize for not getting a video out on Monday. Uh, what I did was I, I did record. I tried to stream Splatoon on Twitch. Before that, I tried to stream another game called Quidomi, created by Caitlin Coy, amazing streamer. Check her out, absolutely. Um, I tried to play Quidomi, and uh, when I downloaded it, I couldn't find the download file. So I switched over to, oh well, I guess I'll just play Splatoon. And uh, I, w while I was streaming, I had one viewer the whole time. Never said anything in chat. May have been me monitoring the chat from my phone. Not entirely sure. But um, whoever that was, they were a real trooper for sticking around the whole time because the frame rate was terrible. Like, I didn't even want to watch my own video. It was... Three frames per second at best. I took the video down off my Twitch because no one wants to see that. Except that one guy. But, um, yeah. That was supposed to be my video on Monday. But until I get a laptop with more than six gigabytes of RAM, that's what I gotta deal with. No streams, unfortunately. I guess I might be able to stream from my phone. But I'd be able to stream uh, mobile games.
Yeah, that's it. Just mobile games for my phone. How about Jetpack Joyride? Or, uh, there's this rhythm game, but, uh, there's so many ads. I don't think you can get, um, like, copyright strike for getting ads while playing a game. Can you? Can you? Plus, it would be up and down. It's an up and down rhythm game. But anyway, I'm stalling the end of the video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. As always, I am 100% open to any other games you would like me to play. And, oh, upcoming video idea. You know my friend, Aurora YT? He and I came up with a plan. A video idea. I go over to his house... And he records me playing Titanfall 2, a game that he's very good at that I've never played. And then, on a different day, he comes over to my house and I record him playing Splatoon, a game that I'm very good at that he's never played. It's two gamers who, in general, are very good at gaming, but we both try a type of game that we're not used to playing. It's like everyone I've told this to said it was like going to be a great idea. And I honestly can't wait. I can't wait to see his reaction when he realizes um, that there's no voice chat for Splatoon. Even in ranked modes. Mm -hmm. I was confused at first. I was like, wait a second. Why is there no voice chat for Splatoon? I mean, you're playing with three other people working towards a common goal. Don't you think communication beyond Booyah in this way is going to be a little bit, you know, not as amazing? Weren't there supposed to be four uh, things to say at first? I think there was going to be four things to say, like more than just Booyah and Come On. I think there was supposed to be Booyah, um, Booyah this way, which is what Come On used to be, um... In the first one, it was Booyah and Come On. In the second one, it was Booyah in this way because Come On can have more, more than one meaning. So, I think it was supposed to be like Booyah is one, Booyah is down, this way is up, and then left and right were something else. I can't remember. But I am dragging this video out way too long, and I've already said that so many times. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.